welcome to episode two of The Master Ballers. We are, of course, with The Master Ballers in the Antigua and Barbuda 2nd Division Zone A. Um, first episode of this was recorded live on stream. I haven't streamed lately, so uh, this is just being recorded as a YouTube video. But obviously, we'll be getting back to streaming this very, very soon. As things stand, Glanville's currently top, having played eight games. Got a goal difference of plus 12 and points 19. Master Ballers are in second, having played only six. And uh, we have a goal difference of plus 10 and 18 points. So we're right up there. But as you can see, some of these fixtures like Erlingas, Erlings, sorry, have only played three. Attacking Saints have only played four. It's The fixture is a little bit odd, but uh, it is what it is. We have got, however, Glanvilles, who are the top team, coming up in our next match. And that will be today's featured match. Okay, so if we take a look, a proper look at the schedule with the Master Ball Series, you can see we've broken a consecutive wins record. Um, and it's both the team and second division zone A for most games one in a row. Now, bear in mind, this is obviously a uh, modified database. It's a custom database, if you will. So uh, those records didn't exist. We're setting new records, basically, which isn't too difficult. But yeah, unbeatable master ball is set new record, which is six games unbeaten. So if we look at our schedule, that's what we've done. Obviously, from the start, Lion Hill, Spliffs, you saw us beat them 3-1. Wadadli beat them 2-0. Mexico Stars beat them 2-1. Garden Stars beat them 3-1. And Bendels beat them 3-1 away. As you can see, we had three home games in a row. We now, gonna, we now after that, had four away games, of which we obviously beat Bendels and then beat 1-0 the Abaya. Now, I just wanted to show you Ivor Murtor. As you know, he scored a few goals for us. Look at that. Half star current ability, one and a half stars potential ability. It reminds me too much of Keen Easy at uh, Torch, but as you can see, it's got six goals and six starts, which is not bad. But if you remember, we are also playing quite a funky tactic, which, uh, as you can see, they're kind of enjoying and getting along with. So uh, I'm not going to fix what ain't broke. Um, but in terms of who you're going to be seeing today, we're going up against Glanvilles. And Glanvilles, of course, are currently first in the division. They do have. You know, they've played a few more games than us, a couple more games, but we do have games in hand against them. But nevertheless, they are the top team, so they are the team to beat. Okay, it's time for the match. Um, just showing you before we've gone, we have dropped down to third place because English Harbour managed to pick up three points. Obviously, we are now against Glanvilles. Uh, in goal, we've got Philip, a back four of Buffonge, a Griffith, Edwards and Richards. Defensive midfielders, Baptiste, left wing Blur, right wing Joseph. Attacking midfield, Henry and Joseph, the other Joseph. We've got E. Joseph and J. Joseph and up front. It's Murtor. And as you can see, we lack a little bit of quality in areas. But between Joseph, Baptiste and Henry and uh, Ivor Murtor's ability to score goals, we should be fine. Um, we aren't favourites for this game and they are suggesting we play defensively. But uh, we'll keep it cautious and see how it goes. Take a little while to warm up. Here we go. So, we've been on a good run lately. I'm going to point my finger at you and suggest you do that. But I'm also going to have faith in you. Get out there and make a difference. And straight to kick off. Master Ball is in the red and white. And Glanville in the green. Oh, it is a throw in already for the Master Ballers. Richards to take it. I should be going full match for the start of this. Joseph coming forward. Little ball for Henry. Henry shimmies past his man, but he's it's saved by the keeper. We have forced the corner. And it's Joseph to take it. Into the middle. And it is clear, but only as far as Blur. Joseph. Blur again. Dodgy first touch. Gets across in. Joseph. To the other Joseph. Baptiste now. Back to Griffith. Griffith. Too far forward to Joseph to get to. We are coming up to three minutes in, but we do look solid, so I'm going to go straight away to key highlights because we are pushing quite hard. Give him some encouragement. There we go. Dublin Hewlett's and a couple across of the ball. We must close him down. It is a corner. Joseph cleared. Henry picks up the loose ball. Looking to start something. Tries to go past North. North dispossesses him and clears the ball forward. But Buffongo picks it up and puts it right back on the north side. Blur to Joseph. Baptiste. Blur again. He got support wide. Chose not to take it. Richards. Joseph. Murtor. 
And it's there, but it's offside. I thought he was offside, to be honest with you. I thought that. I thought it was offside. But a good effort. Joseph. Look at that. It's flashing because it's so close. Lovely little chip from Murtor too. Well, they've had two shots. Oh, no, we've had two shots. One on target there, one and nil. Our XG, however, is only 0.3. That's not good enough, so I'm going to demand more. I'm not sure that encouraging them helped. Coming up to 33 minutes, we've not had another high lap. Murtor looks like he's having a mare. Joseph's not playing well. Armstrong with a goal kick for Glanville. Griffith finds Joseph. Joseph finds Murtor. Murtor! Puts it into the middle of next week. Again, can't criticise him based on his uh, star rating, but uh, Joseph to Joseph. Oh, puts it out wide. Cross in, cleared. Joseph picks it up. Baptiste again, we're dominant, but we're coming up to half time and it's still nil nil. I'd like us to turn this dominance into goals. Joseph to Baptiste. Buffonge, Henry. Little ball. Oh, Richards. Joseph. And it's just wide. I mean, we're clearly dominating them. There's no question about it. But it would be nice to be able to put it home. Blurt with the corner kick. Oh. Touch the top of the bar. And that is half time. Glanville, nil. Master Ballers, nil. RXG is 0.8. It has improved. But we are still at a stalemate. So... Well, we're the underdogs, apparently, and nobody's expecting us to do well. Is that really true? I'm not happy with your performance. There you go. You can do better. Let's see if that's true. Give some encouragement. Hewlett with a throw in Weston. Buffonge. Nearly clears it. North with the long, long pass back to Armstrong. Well, the encouragement didn't do much, did it? Joseph dispossesses North. Joseph passes to Joseph. Joseph to Murtor. Murtor with a shot. Not to be. Long clearance. It's 50 minutes coming up to Griffith. Joseph. Richards, Richards with a ball over Murtor. And he's, oh, it's been disallowed for offside. That's it. That's another game he's, another game, another goal he's had disallowed for offside. Oh, mate, you were about a million miles offside, weren't you, really? Hmm. Anyway. I'm going to have a look and see what uh, subs I can make, because, like, as you know, we don't have a whole lot of heck on the bench. Let's bring in... Benjamin for Murtor. He is slightly worse. Um, anybody else struggling? Edwards isn't having the best time, but I don't really have anybody to bring on for you. Um, and that's kind of it, really. We lack a certain amount of depth, but this is first season, obviously, and only the first few games in. Made a couple of sign-ins, but on the whole, we're working with what we got. Okay. Demand more. 60th minute. Did they like that? Not really. I'm going to go attacking, just for the holy heck of it. See if we can make something happen. 73 minutes. Can we fire him up? Nothing. 82 minutes. Baptiste is coming off. Joseph just got booked. Okay, throw him for Master Ballers. Richards to Joseph. Joseph can't get the cross in. John. Oh, we nearly got on it. Blur. Henry. Richards. Quashy. No. Fongay. Oh dear, that was a terrible, terrible pass. And what did he? That was a push. Upended. That was both hands out and pushed him to the ground. I saw that. Now oh, he's not been booked and sent off for that. I don't know. Williams, Weston. This isn't looking good. Let's go back to defensive. 
Well, it's half, it's full time, not half time. We were the better team as far as XG goes and stats, but look at that, it's nil nil. Good result for Glanville, not so much for us, but it's not the end of the world. Alrighty, after that, let's come back for a final review. Where are Glanville's now having just drawn with us? They are back to top, English Harbour in second, and are still in third on 19 points. Um, like I say, the fixture situation seems a bit strange. Erlings have only still only played three games, whereas some teams have now played ten. It is what it is, I guess. Uh, in terms of where we're ranked, by the way, which I thought was interesting in terms of the competition review, we're basically below all of the Canadian football, apart from the CSL second division, so that's good, but we're ranked 87th, I would suggest. Where are we? Down to 87th. Where are we? 87th. Oh, oops. There we go, look. Yeah, there's not a lot below us in terms of the divisions. Um, so, yeah. That's where this division is. That's why the players are so poor. But that's what we're trying to do. We're obviously trying to uh, raise the division. But uh, we're going to turn Master Ballers into the biggest team in Antigua and Barbuda. And we're going to turn them professional. That's what it's all about. So, I'm avoiding relegation. This has been the Master Ballers. Catch this on stream live, hopefully next weekend. See you next time. Thanks very much for watching.